Whilst, you know, it's quite fitting, whilst we're on the subject of music, um, I've been following the uh, progress and all of the exciting updates of uh, a very, very talented young musician who's born, bred, brought up in London and now professionally uh, doing what she loves, which is just fantastic. Her name is Laurel Violet. Um, and I, I first found her uh, music last year when she submitted to BBC Upload. She's joined me in the studio now, which is just fantastic because it's lovely to meet people in person um, after all of the virtual stuff that we've been doing for the best of two and a half to three years. So Laurel, how are you doing? I'm good. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for coming in. Now, I said that you um, do do this professionally. What is it that you do? Give that top line for everyone. Well, I write music and specifically atmospheric classical music, um, write music for film, write music just for myself that I release and have been releasing over the past year. Um, and yeah, it's kind of modern classical. I mainly play the piano, but it's, it's all instruments. It's quite ethereal. See so yeah, how that's that's the thing. It's really cool because it's not that conventional song writing feel, if no. you know what I mean. Like yeah. it's instrumentation meets the mind. It's kind of classical crossover, I guess. Yes. Is what I think they call it. So look, um there might be people, I guess, who I've been building this show for the best part of a year now, and there's people that have most likely missed our conversation when we had you on um for the for the first time. And again it was over the phone. So um it's brilliant to to have you in person. You grew up in Fulham yes. um and you say that you come from a creative family. So let's unpick um, the people that have brought you up to be. Yes. Um, well, I mean, my dad is a musician as well, also a composer, actually. So he always encouraged like lots of music around the house. And uh, my mum is a just general art lover. So, um, yeah, that was very encouraged. And I have a twin sister who's an artist as well. I forget you're a twin. Yes. I forget you're a twin. Are you identical? No, she's got blonde hair. Oh, okay. But I think they look quite similar. All right. Same colour eyes? Or? Yes. Ah, okay. Is that how people can tell? Or do you, are people quite surprised? I think people are thrown by our colouring because I'm so dark and she's so blonde. But um, when we're together, people will say our features are quite similar. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, she does very beautiful like nature paintings, um, really colourful yeah, very talented girl. Oh, super. Well, look, uh, big up to your twin. What did you say her name was? Camille. You Camille. can find her at Camille Lily Design. Camille Lily that. Design. <laughs> I think I might follow her, actually. I think Are when you? I found out, I think so. If I don't, sorry, I will. But OK, but I'm sure <laughs> that I've come come across her through through your stuff. But um, no, super. How What a talented bunch. So who, who's got the most talent? She does. For <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sure she'd say the same about you. I'm sure I she would. So. Um, but it seems like there's such an array of different things going on. So when it comes to birthdays, are you the kind of family that all sing in harmonies? Oh, and she can't sing. Oh, no. No, it's terrible. Oh, <laughs> so, so, so you could say that you're the best singer. Definitely. Yeah. 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 So because I was going to say a lot of your stuff really is that instrumentation side. So what's veered you away from the singing? Do you know, I just really love instrumental music and I really love film music. So I think just I just got so into that that I kind of got distracted from ever doing singing and not to say that I never would, but mm. I just I love instrumental music more. Sure. Well, yeah. you know, there's the likes of Jacob Collier who have made instrumentation really cool. Yeah. And Bonobo, as I always say, or Bonobo, I never know if I'm saying his name right. I love him, but it's one of those people. The name appears in a playlist as opposed to interviews. So yeah. <laughs> One of those um, undercover uh, big artists, but yeah, I think actually instrumentation um, is 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 definitely cool. Um, not that we need other people to make it cool, but I think it is the your sound is is quite niche. I think. Yeah, I mean, obviously there are a lot of people I'm inspired by that are probably in similar veins, but I think it is a less common genre of music. But I feel like. Um, singers and songwriters it's not that different actually when I when it comes to writing a piece it's all pretty similar and you went to Bristol University yes I did big up Bristol <laughs> I was with the, the I said a little earlier on the show I was with the the uh, crew from BBC Radio Bristol it is so cool there I'm hoping I'm hoping I say to go in the new year it is the new year now I need to book my National Express um, or my train and go up but it's such a, a a wicked place for creatives there I loved it I spent four years there and really didn't want to leave I was going to say was it hard to, yeah, it to really cut ties was. Yeah, 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 it was. Do you have friends there still? 
you know, I feel like a lot of people have ended up moving back to London, but mm. all, all my friends from uni, they all say they'd love to go back. I well, think everyone loved it. At least London is a creative melting pot it too. Is. Big up London. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I definitely, maybe we could we could do a joint trip to, to see the upload crew. <laughs> um, I'm sure they'd love to meet you. Um, but look, we are playing a, a song this evening, Deep Lake, yes. um, which you released a very cool and very relaxing. It was almost like a, 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 a visual ASMR video. Yeah. Um, and, and I guess your music does have that ASMR sound a little bit. I can imagine having a nice massage to your music or I can imagine <laughs> even just a very, like, in the sunset, very cool, Ooh, yeah. relaxed, like, like drive with a friend where you're just winding down like it is that kind of music Definitely. but equally I could get I could get it in a club I say we, we could remix it as <laughs> I would well. love someone to remix yeah. my music someone I, do that <laughs> 100% well I've got um, Max uh, who is uh, doing a DJ a DJ takeover set for me soon um, so I'll have to um, maybe we'll have to yeah, link you two it. up yeah 100% <laughs> he's, he's definitely trying um, uh, all manner of genres at the moment so um, I'll, I'll get you two together however um, Deep Lake explain Okay, so yeah, I wrote this piece earlier this year um, and it was, you know, just kind of about an emotional journey. I had this vision of a lake that's, you know, super still and calm on the surface, but underneath, you know, there's all this darkness, all this stuff going on and, you know, kind of turned that into a piece. And when it came to making the video, um, I have a very talented cousin who's a filmmaker. And you're all at it, I aren't know, you? everyone's doing it. The extended family. <laughs> I know, so I got her involved. Your manager's nodding like, yes, yeah, this is the talent I'm surrounded around. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, and so, yeah, when it came to making this video, um, she kind of, you know, took the lead with it. But we found this dancer, a girl called Yankee, and she was just so amazing. She's so brilliant. So talented. She kind of did it all on her own. Obviously, I, I can't instruct that. So yeah, I was yeah. just watching it, and, you know, she really understood kind of like the meaning of the piece which was just about you know an emotional struggle really yeah. and um yeah when it when it got finished and my cousin showed it to me I was absolutely blown away oh well I it's so beautiful and I think also um to put again I keep using this word instrumentation but again we are talking about music um that speaks for itself without the lyrics it's it's a fantastic way to I, I don't know is it hard to share that because I guess when you're writing something without lyrics, it's almost even more so personal because that I imagery so. has come from your brain. So is it scary to share that with a team of creatives Definitely. to visualise that? And sometimes I don't even really know exactly what I mean when, mm. I, when I do it. And it's only later looking back, I can see, or oh, maybe I was feeling this type of way at the time. But what I think is quite interesting is, say, like when I showed the piece to my cousin, then to the dancer, what they told me, like they felt from it. Okay. So, And when they said what they interpreted it as, I was like, oh, yeah, you're right. Like, that's what I was going for. The sharing of ideas. So, yeah. Um, well, look, if you've just tuned in, it's uh, the brilliant, fantastic uh, Laurel Violet. You can find her on Instagram at Laurel Violet Music. We'll come back to her. But I think it's only right we've um, bigged up D Lake. It's an absolutely, it's one of her many beautiful tracks. Came out at the end of last year. Yeah, yes. yeah, only a couple of weeks ago. Yes. Um, and uh, again, it's got such a beautiful music video. I really um, encourage you to go and check it out. It's on YouTube. Um, if you want to, to find out a little bit more, you want to visualise Laurel uh, Violet, um, it is at Laurel Violet Music on Instagram. But this is Deep Lake, a song that she submitted to BBC Upload.
beautiful Deep Lake Laurel Violet. Hello. Hello. What was it like to hear that? Go down. Very nice. Fun. Yeah, I yeah. loved it. <laughs> very soothing. I know. Very soothing. Um, we were just having a discussion. I mean, we were listening because it's very exciting to hear your own music go out, but we were having a discussion about Christmas because in the <laughs> studio, we were saying it's like we've got the World Cup flags up still. We've got tinsel. A lot going on. Yeah, the BBC branding um, everywhere. And it's almost like you don't know quite what theme, uh, aesthetic we're going for in here. More is more. More is more, exactly. I think that's what this show is, um, uh, for sure. Um, Look, that was an absolutely beautiful song. Um, I want to know what your plans are for this year because you've dropped a music video. Um, You you know, we've got very excited about um, these releases going up on Spotify and everywhere. You, You know, we can find you on all of the realms online. So what would you like to do? Because this, I know that you mentioned kind of composing and edging towards possibly last time we spoke that that could be the goal you know soundtracking yeah a piece um has that changed is that no, no? i mean i still would love to do that i'd love to write film tv but i've i've kind of sidestepped that now and i'm just yeah. doing more of my own stuff which i'm really loving as well mm. you know it's so cool to write my own things and watch them turn into you know film videos and for sure um so yeah i'm kind of enjoying doing that right now you're doing my childhood dream which is where you like think up a music video in the car um with like (laughs) it might be raining or you have music on and you're looking out the car window building up that music video in your head (laughs) yeah to be able to do that for real is 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 super um how was your i didn't even ask how your christmas and new year were it was really lovely what did you do um well i just have a small family in london my mom's american so a lot of our family Ah, are over there so my twin sister my mum yeah we had a cozy Christmas and I, I went to a party for New Year's which was very so nice. I'm so because I when I heard your your kind of twin you've got a twinge of something yeah. is it, it, it sounds almost Irish. I get that all the time or Scottish. Um, Scottish yeah. My grandparents are in Memphis so my family are actually very southern um, but I've, I've so, lived in London my whole life. You've lived in London your whole life? Somehow the accent just It really came has on. yeah, yeah <laughs> it really has and your dad? He's when, English. No way. I know. I get so um, like I don't know. I I love unraveling like where, <laughs> how people, you know, people's I guess biological makeup and like where their roots are yeah. and like that's crazy because also there's this thing where I have a couple of Scottish friends um, who have a Scottish accent but it's really dropped so it almost sounds Irish because they're yeah. rolling the R's just ever so slightly so that's why I went with Irish. I think people get no confused way. by that. Yeah. Oh, right. like that's cool. It's your sister the same. She has slightly less of an accent than me, I think, but yes, yeah, pretty similar. Oh my gosh, very interesting, very interesting. Um, do you think you'll do any collaborations with your sisters? Like, would, would she do like a stop motion thing where I, you could like soundtrack it? I would love that or if she ever had an exhibit to just yeah. have some like running music and you know, her thing is all very nature and jungle. I so was going to say, could she do something yeah. with water? Just hearing water yeah. droplets as I'm listening to like your music. Yeah, or exactly that. Just the sound of, I don't know, you know, the wishing. Yeah, like, one day, definitely. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we've got, look, I, I don't mind coming in and helping with this <laughs> exhibition that we'll one We'd day go out you. with you guys. Um, look, it's so lovely to, to to have you on. So yes, just going back to um, my original question, I'm so good at sidetracking, just about sort of this year, no pressure, because yeah. I feel like sometimes when we pull too much on ourselves, it's nice to let opportunities come to you. But uh, yeah, what would you like to conquer this year? Um, well, we've got some things lined up already. I have um, another piece coming out on February 2nd, okay. um, which is a piece called Something. Right. And um, we'll be doing a live session video for that as well. Oh, amazing. Um, so, yeah, I haven't done that before, so that'll be quite cool. I'll yeah. be playing piano. We'll have some string players. Um, oh, so, my gosh. Yeah, so it's all coming be, to life. I know. So that will be in the next couple of months. And then there's another album um, coming out in the spring. Mm-hmm. And then after that, I think I might have to, I'll just see see where everything falls, basically. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Well, um, hopefully some live shows off the back of those. Um, yes. And um, amazing. Uh, if, you know, where are you recording that live session? We don't know yet. Hopefully. <laughs> made a veil. Made a veil. Yeah. <laughs> Let yourself to, be To known. be confirmed. I mean, we can, I mean, if you fancy bringing everyone here live in session, like, I'm not going to say no. I feel like I maybe think that's should... up for discussion. <laughs> <laughs> You've been cornered now. You've been cornered, Mr. Manager. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, I you know, we we love live sessions on this show, especially now we can have them, which is fantastic. Yeah. So um look, Laurel Violet, thank you so much. Laurel thank Violet, you. is that your full is that your like your first name, middle name? That's my middle name. I have a really boring surname. So What's I your just, surname? Lewis. Lewis. Laurel so Lewis. That's I cut fantastic. that. Fantastic. Like... <laughs> you sound like an author. Do you think? Yes. 
Maybe the I'll Chronicles do that. of a Talented Family by Laurel Lewis. Yeah. <laughs> I think you should own that. I think that could be like your, you know, people have a few names, they have a stage yeah, name definitely. and then they have like an undercover. I can't remember the name for undercover. That'd be my writer name. Yeah, writer's name. Exactly. <laughs> Laurel Lewis. I mean, okay, but Laurel Violet, yes, I do understand the elegance of that when it's coined with music. <laughs> yes. Oh, super. Well, look, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for um, having me. Here in the studio. It's so, it's so brilliant. And I can't believe that there's not an ounce of Irish <laughs> I know. At all. Maybe Scottish. there is somewhere. <laughs> Maybe, somewhere. yeah. No, I do. I do have friends with with. Uh, I guess that, especially friends who have mums from the states. Yeah, it seems to carry down. Yeah, rather than dads. I don't know why just a mum thing maybe anyway um, that's not why, why I wanted to unpick the dialect of, of people um, with dual heritage but look um, it's so lovely to, to have you on we will have to pen in a live session I feel like I we've yeah um, if I can make magic work and send you to Maidavel oh I would love to um, but why not we can start here and see Let's where it goes. It. Okay, cool. Well, thank you so much. Um, the very talented uh, Laurel Violet, again, at Laurel Violet Music on Instagram. Her music video to Deep Lake, the song you just heard, is out on the sphere now. You can find it on YouTube. You can find the song on Spotify, Apple Music, absolutely everywhere. And um, a live session here shortly to, to be continued, I say. Yeah. <laughs>